Good morning, everybody. We are gonna be doing, uh, going on a little adventure, but first, we gotta start the bus. We got the block heater in, but she's still pretty cold, so I know how you kids like the cold starts. Here it goes. See, there's something going on with my rack on this bank. As you can see, I was uh, I was pushing in the uh, the fuel control there, and it was not changing. But watch this. We're gonna start the second time, and I'm pretty sure these cylinders are gonna light, and the smoke's gonna stop here. I mean, it'll it'll blow out a lot of gray white smoke, and then it'll clear up right away. Watch this. I think there's something wrong. I really want to get that looked at. Uh, I feel like I got a problem with my, maybe I got some injectors sticking on that side because I think I have the breakaway rack because this is a 1982, it's a newer Detroit. Um, I'd like to really sort that out. Uh, I don't know, it just bothers me, I guess. I, I I haven't had the valves run or, you know, the injector time, or, yeah, injector timing rack or exhaust valves. I'd really like to do that. Uh, probably before next summer, so we'll see. I kind of want to do it myself, but I also don't want to screw it up. We are on a bit of a schedule. Uh, I got to get there in a couple minutes, but um, it's not too far away. Uh, JD is going to stop by, and uh, we are going to, uh, hopefully, without too much drama, we are going to take the generator out of one bus and into another bus. And All right, here we are helping sean get a generator loaded up on his bus uh stinking nice generator actually like i am uh i'm pretty proud of him getting this thing it is uh nice and here he is he's going in one of these bays Not sure which one. There's the bus in all his glory. Shutting her down. Here comes the generator. We're doing this easy today. Skid steer loading it. Gonna be an easy one today. Using a skid steer. Get this thing loaded in. Hey. It's going right here. Oh, look at that. You even got a diesel tank for it. Look at that. Yeah, we're planning a little bit more than that. Uh-oh. I don't know, man. I thought I those things were supposed to just sip fuel. Actually, that I run, that one uses like half a gallon an hour at half load or quarter load. Oh. Which is about the same as like a 3,000 or 4,000 watt gas. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. There it comes. That isn't the easiest thing ever. Here, I'll give you a hand. Get a skid steer. Dude, you can make it easy. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Did you check out his bus a little bit? Not on the inside. We chatted just a little bit about okay. it. But. Yeah. Well, that uh, that didn't take too long. Um, 
Let's go review. Oh, still stuck in the bus. Let's go review what we got. All right. Ooh, it's a little windy. So here we are. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, look at this. So this is a power tech. Uh, eight kilowatt, uh, 1800 RPM, which is nice. That means it's nice and quiet. Uh, he has it wired for 120, which is perfect for me. Uh, I don't like that it's gonna take up most of this bay. I really like to use this for other things, but I don't know that I'm quite ready to make it fit in that bay. It should be able to. Uh, I've done the measurements on it, but I'd have to modify this other part and uh, there are ways to do it. It's just about time, right? Uh, check this out. I mean, this thing is... Um, the guy I got it from, I've seen it, or I've seen and heard it run. It's super quiet. There is a lot of dust in here because the guy who had it, he took it out to the desert and would run it um, while well, they were out there. So this is a three-cylinder... It says Perkins, but I'm told it's a Kubota. Three-cylinder, little diesel. Uh, I believe probably four-stroke. Um, I know in the starting sequence, it'll preheat, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Super, super excited. I might. <laughs> I might. I might just have to pick up some fuel line and see if we can get that fired up sooner or later. Sooner than later. I do need to cut some holes probably to let it exhaust out. Yeah. So the issue that um, this generator was having is it wasn't producing good voltage, uh, which is exactly the problems I was having before, right? So why would you jump right back into that? Well, two reasons. One, this is diesel. And th that's where I need to go. Um, worst case scenario, this has a bad, uh, generator head, which is replaceable for, you know, one, $2,000. I won't share exactly how much I got this for, but I spent more on my battery bank than I spent on this. He was just ready to be done with it. Um, when we tested it in his coach, uh, it was getting, let's say under about three, 4,000 watts of load, it was still producing 110 volts. It's plenty for me. I would love to be at 117, 115, uh, but 110 isn't the end of the world. Uh, maybe it just needs a new, uh, the brush is cleaned or slip rings cleaned because this is that same type of generator that uses uh, slip rings, which it would be great if it was brushless, but it's not. So, couldn't help myself. I got some more diesel. I got a battery. Uh, I jacked up the uh, generator underneath here a little bit. So I haven't cut any holes out, but I want to see if it'll fire up and I want to see uh, what kind of voltage it's putting out. So hopefully nothing horrible happens. Uh, don't go anywhere because <laughs> yeah, you know how things go here. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Uh, I'm told all I have to do is hit this start stop button. I'm gonna turn on the main. Oh, let's see what happens. Okay, the glow plugs are glowing. Oh. Let's try it again. Uh, looks like the battery cables I have, I'm pretty sure are too small. I have enough cranking amps, um, but there's just not enough wire to make it happen. So it's not turning over like it should. To quote the Mythbusters, well, here's your problem. This battery is sitting at 12.51 volts. It needs a good charge. It's not going to start this. 
I don't think at that low uh, of a voltage. So it's probably been sitting there since it was manufactured. Well, it says 1020 on it. I don't know. I'm not a, well, I should be a battery expert with as much as, as many as I have, but um, I think I might. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to charge that. That's what I'm gonna have to do. All right, we'll be back after we charge it. Uh, got the old battery charger on it here. It uh, started at about 12.8. It's working its way up. 15 amps on it, and it didn't jump right up to you know 14 or something. So that tells me that it was undercharged a little bit. We will uh, get it up there and try again. Try number two. Uh, we're at about 14.3 volts on the battery there. Hopefully it's more happy. Let's see. Let's see if it fires. bit different that time. Sorry I wasn't able to capture the magic moment. Uh, I just wasn't sure that it was going to work or not, but uh, after I increased the cabling on the battery, it should fire right up. I'm going to go uh, check voltages here. it is wow that thing is quiet right. I'm sure you can hear me okay that's the quietest generator I have ever had and it's it's a low rumble if you're listening to this on a phone you're probably not hearing it on a big boy computer probably uh, you can hear it a little bit more, better or with better speakers but I'm really excited for this uh, we will have to do some modifications and all that stuff, but we got good voltage, no load right now. I'll have to add the load and see if I'm experiencing the same things uh, my buddy Brian was. But like I said, my system can handle it. I'm only gonna need about 3000 watts at the max uh, to run both of our air conditioners. We are running maybe over 3000, maybe. Uh, but usually when, we're, when we need air, we've got solar and that's kicking in too. So it's not a big deal. And this only uses, uh, what's it looking like? 0.3 gallons per hour at 50% load. And we're gonna be probably under that. I mean, this thing is gonna sip fuel. I'm excited. I can't wait to, I don't know. I wanna go back down to Padre Island and honestly and just camp out there for a week. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Okay. Um, I think that's all I've got. If you like what's going on here, if you like what we're doing, give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. You wanna see more crazy stuff like this where I don't really know what I'm doing, but I figure it out, definitely subscribe. Um, so that's all I have for tonight. Catch you guys next time, bye.